Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video on how to install the communication driver to a third-party PLC for a Mitsubishi GT10 series HMI. Today we're going to focus in on a GT1020. The solution really is to unplug the power and then put your finger on the bottom right hand corner of the terminal and then turn the power back on. From there you'll be able to install the OS including the, the communication driver from the Mitsubishi software. And the software is GT Works 3. So let me give you a quick demonstration of how to do that. I have it powered on right now on my desk and I'm going to open up the software GT Designer 3. I'm going to select new and I'm going to follow the wizard. I'm going to select GT 1020. Next, next. Now here I'm going to select a driver. FX comes pre-installed. So if you've already uh, purchased one and, and you're, you're trying to communicate to something else, it already has an FX uh, driver installed. So we're going to select L, for example. Now any of these others can be selected um, to start with. Later we can, we can uh, specify third-party uh, controllers. So I specify L here, and I say Next, and I do 422, and I select Next. And then finally Next again, Next, Finish. Now I come up with the default screen. Now the next step is to make sure your PC is connected to the terminal. There are several ways to do this, actually two of them. You can use a USB port to serial, or you can go from a serial port, if your computer has one, directly to the serial port on the back of the GT1020. Now the programming port is dedicated for programming, and that's the RS-232 port. This is a six pin programming cable. You can use a Q-series programming cable, the SCQ, or a GOT dedicated cable shown here. Now for, for my system I have the USB adapter shown here. This uh, USB adapter is uh, made by Keyspan. Now the Belkin adapters don't work as nicely from what I hear. So uh, the Keyspan do does work just fine for, for all practical purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in right now. To find out where that was uh, brought in, of course, as, as always, you can go to Properties, go to your Hardware Device Manager, and you can expand your ports. Here, I'm on COM3. Okay, So we'll go back into the software, and we're going to go up to the Communication Configuration and configure the uh, programming port and select COM3, and we'll go ahead and do a test. And we're successfully connected. Say OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and write the communication driver. So we're going to write and we're going to say, we can test it again if we want, we'll say OK. And now from the write screen, it's always good practice to also install the standard monitor OS. Sometimes the driver, the communication driver, will have been released after the standard monitor OS that's already on the terminal that came from the factory. So it's a good idea to also include the standard monitor OS. Now here from the communication driver dropdown, you can see if I'm connecting to an Allen Bradley Micrologix, for example, I would select the Micrologix PLC here. So let's assume we are working with that. And then we'd say go ahead and do a GOT write. So now you can see I have an error. That's because I need to enter the OS installation screen. So to do that, once again, first of all, turn the power off and then touch the lower right hand corner of the screen and turn the power back on. You'll get a message that comes up that says please install the OS. Then from there use the screen design software to install the OS by clicking the GOT write button and then once that is complete you'll get a message that says finished now rebooting. That concludes this video on uh, communicating to a GT10 series HMI to update the communication driver and the OS. Thank you very much and have a great day.